is a drawing away from the world. I'm talking about a, a getting away from the world. I know people say, well, preacher, uh, we're in this world. How can we? Listen, but listen, listen to what the Bible says. Jesus very plainly taught Matthew chapter 6 and verse 24. No man can serve two masters. Either you'll hate the one and love the other, or else you'll hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. <coughs> mammon was an Aramaic word meaning riches and wealth and, and, uh, the, and living in the, uh, the uh, system of the world. Friend, listen to me very carefully. What you do, listen to me, what you do, what do you value, what, what you do with your life, what you place value on is what your God is. Yeah. Amen? Amen? What you place value on, what you give time to, what you pay attention to, the thing that fills your thinking and your mind, that is what your God is. And I submit to you this morning, uh, idolatry is alive and well in the United States of America 2011. Alive and well. Oh, Christian, listen to me. We need to have a definitive change in our lives where God becomes our, our choice. God becomes our lifestyle. The things of God become more important to us than anything on this earth. And friend, listen to me. What kind of values do you have today? Eternal things or the things of this earth? We tell you something about the things of this earth. They're going to burn up and be destroyed one of these days. Yeah. And the only thing that you do for Jesus, that's the only thing that's going to last. Period. Yeah. Period. I'm trying to remind you, friend, as a Christian, there is a drawing away if we're not careful. And God sets the conditions of a godly lifestyle. And that's what He wants from us. Godliness. Some today are hindered by the allurements of this whole world. I've been there. Every Christian has. Because the world always paints a pretty, a, a pretty world in very bright and, and vibrant colors. But I tell you, friend, behind the scenes, all is not rosy. Amen? Not at all. Behind every commercial that shows the beautiful people of this world enjoying their good times with that booze uh, and, and, and all the partying and things of that. You go ahead and show that. I think there ought to be equal advertising time. Yeah. Because, friend, all the beautiful people having their booze and drinking and acting a fool, I could take you and show you a hundred families that have been absolutely destroyed yeah. and lives that have been ruined by devil alcohol. Say, preacher, is this a sermon against alcohol? No, it's a sermon against an ungodly lifestyle. Amen. It's a sermon against people living the way they want to live and doing what they know they want to do. Can I say to you this morning, don't let the beauty of sin allure you or draw you away.